59 has learned there are now 14 lawsuits filed against this man, a former Indiana fertility doctor who fathered nearly 100 children illegitimately. They were all filed in the past six months after the debut of the Emmy-nominated Netflix documentary, Our Father. Seven years ago, our Angela Gannot broke the story of how Dr. Donald Klein used his own sperm to impregnate hopeful mothers without their consent. Now, two more brothers find out Dr. Klein is their biological father. Angela sat down with them and their parents who tell us this case isn't over. It was love at first sight back in 1974. The first night, Jerry Novelet met Pamela. He told friends, this is the girl I'm gonna marry, and he did. Now, 45 years later, they received news that rocked them to their core. I mean, I, I just broke down and I, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought, well, no, this has to be wrong, it has to be wrong. For me, at least. The novelist's oldest son, Josh, works in the field of genetics. Strange things started happening. No surprise that on a free night, he chose to watch Our Father on Netflix. Dr. Klein was the best infertility doctor in Indianapolis. Our Father, the true story of Indiana doctor Donald Klein, how he used his own sperm to impregnate women without their knowledge, and how dozens of siblings figured out he was their father. Yeah. Josh instantly felt connected. <laughs> It really hit me because that's what I do every single morning. Taking medicine for an autoimmune disease which affects just 8% or less of the population. He ordered a 23andMe kit before the film was even over. Little did the six foot four former Division I volleyball player know that decision would drastically change his life. I walk around. The woman he watched in that movie turned out to be his real life sister. They didn't have any reason to believe that this affected us because they didn't ask for a donor. The novelist's fertility problem was Pam not ovulating every month, not Jerry's sperm. But when Dr. Klein suggested Jerry bring his own sperm sample to give an even better chance of getting pregnant, they did. Two pregnancies, first Josh and then his younger brother, Ryan. And he told me, he said, it will be much easier this time because we got the recipe. The recipe? The novelists still don't understand. Their third son conceived with no fertility help. They want to know what Dr. Klein did with Jerry's sperm, why he used his own, and they filed a lawsuit to get answers. Jerry wants Klein to face punishment. He raped you, and it just made me sick to my stomach. There's people in prison that haven't done near what he's done, and the families he's ruined, so I would love to see him in prison. Everyone handles the pain differently. I'm glad I did reach out for help. Uh, it saved me. I was in a bad place. The Noblet's middle son, Ryan, a former 6'6 Purdue football and Arkansas lineman, describes it like this. Knowing Klein as his biological father changes nothing, but it changes everything. He's destroyed a lot of people's lives. Daily, he feels the physical pain of the genetic autoimmune disorder he shares with his older brother, and the pain of knowing a man, a doctor, his parents trusted, shattered everything he thought he knew about who he is. But he is determined to not let it destroy him. My dad is probably one of the strongest men I've ever met. And I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you both. I told you then, and I'll tell you again. You'll always be a novel. Mm. Both of you. I love you. I love you too. Because when it's all said and done, DNA doesn't define a family. Love does. Angela Gano, Fox 59 News. The family's lawsuit and the others filed are still in the early stages. Their attorney spoke exclusively with Angela, and you can hear his interview and see the timeline of this case on our website at fox59.com.